In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your own bat signal to any footage. I actually made this effect live on stream a few weeks ago. It was a ton of fun, so if you don't want to miss the next stream, do be sure to subscribe. So to start, I've got this city stock footage I got from Pexels.com. Ideally, you want some footage that's dark and is cloudy, because, you know, obviously you need something to put the bat signal on. Now, it's subtle, but there is a little bit of camera movement in the shot, so I'm going to track it. I'm going to add a tracker node, just hitting shift space to bring up the select tool menu. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose what building I want the signal to be coming from. I think I want it to be from this building here in the middle with my tracker selected. I'm going to find where the tracker was and then just choose a point on the building that has a lot of contrast. Thankfully, it has all these little lights on it, so that will work perfectly for tracking. Just squeeze that down so I'm only getting that dot there. Then I'm going to change the adaptive mode to best match and just track that forward. Perfect. Now I can change the operation to match move and we can plug everything that we're gonna be doing into this. So to start, we need a bat symbol. So I download this one online. You can find them pretty easily. Now it is in a huge resolution, which is way more than we need. So I'm gonna add a resize node that'll automatically make it 1920 by 1080. So now I can work with it without my computer exploding. So I'm going to plug this into the tracker. Then in the apply mode, I'm gonna change that to screen. I'm gonna drag these up just so we have a lot of space to work. Now, first of all, the bat signal is usually more of a circle shape. So uh, to fix that, I can add a transform node. Then in the size, I'm gonna uncheck use size and aspect. So now I have X size and Y size. So now I can just squeeze that down until it's more of a circle shape. Now let's make it look like it's being projected up onto the clouds. And I'm gonna do this with a very fun node called the DVE node. This node is basically a fake 3D node in Fusion. It lets you rotate your thing like it's on a 3D card, which is perfect for what we want. So I'm gonna bring up the X rotation until it looks like it's roughly could be projected onto the sky. Then to make it smaller, I can use this Z move thing to move it around. And then I'm just gonna choose a part of my sky I want it to be at. And I can also move the Z rotation a little bit so it's not perfectly up. Looks pretty good. We can tweak that later if we want. Now right now it looks really crisp and a little bit cartoony. So to fix that, I can add a blur and just bring that up. I think around two and a half looks good, but again, we can tweak all these settings a little bit later. So now I wanna make it look like it's reacting to the shape of the clouds. So I can do that using a displace node. I can plug our media in into that displace. Then I'm gonna change it to X and Y and bring up the X refraction and the Y refraction just a little bit. So now if I move it around a little bit, you can see it's conforming a little bit more to the shape of the clouds. Now the clouds in this shot are pretty soft, so it's not super prominent, but if yours has more defined clouds, this effect will be a lot more visible. So now I wanna add some lines to make it look like it's being projected out of the bat signal. So I can do that, making sure nothing's selected. I'm going to add a directional blur, plug our displace into that. So now if I change the type to radial and bring down the length to something negative, now you can see it adds these kind of light ray looking things. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge this over the displace, set that to screen. Now we can take a look at our footage again. So I'm gonna bring this down to our building where we decide we want it to come from. Now right now it's not reaching the building all the way. So I can bring the length to negative 0.3. That works well for my footage, but you might have to play around with yours depending on how far away you need it to be. Now right now it's pretty faint and I like that. I think it looks good when it's subtle, but if you want it to be a bit more visible, you can bring up this glow slider just to make it a bit brighter. Maybe I'll have that up a tad. Now that we have this directional blur, one thing we can do to make it look like it's diffusing into the clouds a little bit more, so we can copy this directional blur, then select our displace and add that after it. Now that's obviously way too strong, but if we bring down the length to something absolutely tiny, super, super small. Actually, it might be better if we turn off the blur a little bit just to see what we're doing. Now, I also want to bring down the glow on this. Just have it be something super subtle. Now it looks like it's kind of diffusing into the clouds a little bit. Just makes it more realistic. Now, there aren't exact settings for this. Again, you just gotta tweak everything until you think, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, right now, it's looking very saturated. So, I can add a color corrector after everything and bring down the saturation a bit. I think I also want to bring down the gain a bit, make it less strong, and maybe I can play around with the hue to make it a little bit more orange. Now I'm going to drag these down just to add a little bit more space. And again, something we can do to make it look a bit more bright and like it's dispersing into the clouds is I'm going to add a soft glow. Now this one, I'm going to have be really small, bring down the gain a little bit. Then I can copy this and paste it just using Control C, Control V. This one, 
Can bring up the glow size a little more. Bring down the gain. One more time, I'm gonna paste this. This one, I'm gonna bring up the glow size, something huge. And again, bring down the gain. That makes it look a lot more realistic. And now you have your very own bat symbol. And of course, it doesn't have to be a bat signal. You can replace it with anything. Get creative with it. And if DC movies are your thing, then you can check out my last video where I showed you how to make the Superman title intro in DaVinci Resolve.